Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to be making this beautiful pouch bag that has a drawstring and it also has a handle. So let's get right into that. Now, these are the things that we're going to be needing. The main body of the bag, the handle and then the strip, the one that we're going to be drawing. Now for the main body of the bag, the length is 24. Here to here is 24 and here to here is 11. For the handle, the length is 16, while the width is 2.5. Now for the strip, the length is 30 and then the width is 1.5. So you cut yours like this and then we'll begin sewing. So the first thing we will need to do is close up this side and same thing for the other side as well, this side by 0 0.5. Okay, so now I have sewn this side and I have sewn the, this other side as well. What I'm going to do next is to open it up like this and I would iron here, give it a good ironing. Same thing for this side, we'll open it up and then we would iron this part. So that is done and we're going to make sure that this part is matching the other sewing like this and we'll pin that down. Now from this joining line, we're going to measure 1.5 down here. We're going to do the same thing on this side. 1.5 down here like this. And then we would mark another one inch. This is going to be our opening. So another one inch here, okay. You're going to sew from this point. This is from here to here is our 1.5. While this place is our one inch. You're going to sew from this point all the way down. You're going to sew from this point all the way here. And then you continue from your 1.5 mark, sew down and sew down. Now you need to determine which one is your lining and which one is your main fabric. So I'm just going to pick the one that doesn't have this opening on the side. So this will be my lining. Then you can just leave 2.5 inches here for us to be able to turn this out when we are done sewing. So I'll go and sew mine now and I'll come back. Okay, so this is sewn. So now we are going to trim off the excess here. And then we'll open this up like this. We're going to open up this seam again and give it very good ironing so that it stays flat like this. Okay, so we've done the ironing. Now we're going to come to the tip like this. We need to make sure that this line that we made at the beginning and this line align. Okay, I'm just going to peg it down. So now on all the four sides, you're going to measure 1.5, starting from the very tip. And then I'll rule a line. That's the, the 1.5 mark that you're just going to sew. And then I'll do that for the other sides. Okay, so I've sewn the four corners here, here, here. So now I'm just going to trim off the excess. So now we can turn this over because we are done with the sewing that we have to do on this side. Okay, so when you turn it, this is what you have. And then the part that we left open, the parts that we have the 2.5. You're going to close that. You're going to close it up like this. Just very tiny and so close to the end. Okay, so I've closed that up. So now I can tuck this in here. So you see what I did? The side that has the opening, this opening now for us to pass our rope, 
is on the outside here, while the side that has the 2.5 opening for us to turn it out is on the inside. So take note of that. So now I'm just going to iron this very well and then we would make our ropes. Okay, so this is what we have now. So the next thing for us to do is our ropes. So the longer rope, the one that I said is 30 inches long, that is the one that would be passed around here for us to make our drawstring, while the shorter one is the handle. Now this is how both of them are going to be sewn. So you fold at the top like so, fold this in, fold this in, and then you close up like this, and then you sew all the way down. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and make mine. Okay, so our rope is done, all four of them. And then the next thing now is to sew down the part where our drawstring is going to enter. So we're going to come here like this. This is our one inch opening. So I'm going to mark the top and the bottom. Like this. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Find the opening, mark the top, mark the bottom. I'm making sure the line enters each of the sides because I'm about to rule. So now I'm going to join this line to this line. Okay, so now we're going to sew this line that I just marked. We're going to sew on the line. Okay, so I'm back from the I'm back from the sewing machine and this is sewn. As you can see, I have two lines here. This line and then this line. This is where we're going to pass our drawstring. But before we do that, we are going to put the handle for the bag. We are going to find the midpoint of this bag. And we will do that by placing this and this together like this. And this place will serve as our midpoint. Let me mark that on the inside. This place will serve as our midpoint. And this would be our midpoint. Great. So now on this midpoint, we're going to mark 1.5 on each side because that's where we want our handle to sit. 1.5 on each side. 1.5 on each side. So now you're just going to place your handle inside here. You would open it up, place your handle inside here, and place the other one in here too. So it's really going to be, this is our mark. It's just going to be sitting tiny on this line, on this first line, and on this second line. So now we're going to head to the sewing machine and sew this, our line that we've made here and then this other line. We're not touching this opening part because we need to pass the rope. Okay, so I have tacked this down, all the four. So now the last thing that we need to do is to use our bodkin to pass the rope. This is the bodkin. So I'm going to peg it here and I would close this down so that it doesn't move. And then we would pass it from here like this. When you get to the other end, just keep moving. When you get to the other end, just put the bodkin into the other side and keep moving. And then you bring it out from this end. Just make sure that it is sitting equally. So I'm going to pull this so that it's equal. Great. So we'll put the second one. For this one, we're going to be starting from this side. 
because we want this thing on this other side as well. This is what we have now. We're done, actually. <laughs> we're done already, so we're just going to not the this place. So this is what the bag looks like. We finish. So you can open like this and close up like this. This is how it looks.